Watercolor and Sharpie Self-Portrait, Part 1. For today's self-portrait, I'm going to start with my paper portrait style. So this is called Landscape. We are making a self-portrait, so I need it like a door. Now I'm going to start in the middle of my paper. The top? Nope. The bottom? The middle. I'm going to draw a shape for my face. What kind of shape should I draw for my face? If you said circle, you are very close. I'm actually going to draw an oval. Can you say oval? Oval. So an oval is like a circle that just got squished a little bit towards the middle. Okay. Now the next thing, if you touch your chin, which is here and you go down, what do you feel? <gasps> your neckline. So I'm going to do one, two. Now don't make them too skinny. You're not a giraffe. And don't make them too far apart. You're not an elephant. Okay, so you need a neck that's just about right, just where your chin comes down. And then I'm gonna connect that. This is gonna be my shirt line, okay? And then if you feel right here beneath your neck, and you go over, you feel your shoulders. So I'm gonna start over here, and I'm gonna do my shoulders. Okay, and then I can come down my shoulders okay so I have my head neck and shoulders and I've come down to the bottom of my paper there and that will be my shirt now this looks like anybody this could be anybody in the world so I need to turn it into me myself Miss Christina so I'm gonna look in my mirror or take a selfie and I'm gonna look at my face Let's start with our hair. So Miss Christina has long wavy hair. So I'm going to draw my hair on top of this. So I'm gonna come here a little bit. I'm gonna to draw to here. And I'm gonna come here on this side. Now do not draw hair like this if you don't have hair like Miss Christina. And I'll show you how to draw different kinds of hair in a minute. Just remember to put hair on your head. Don't leave yourself bald. Okay, so this line here, I actually don't need that anymore. I can erase, erase it. And I'm going to have my hair come in front here. So I can erase this line too. Remember, draw light until you get it right so that you can erase where you need to. All right, I'll add some more wavy lines. Now, all right, we're gonna talk about how to draw different hairstyles. Nobody is the same, so please make sure you look in your mirror today. I'm just going to demonstrate a few different ones on this paper. So remember, when you're doing your selfie, we always start with an oval shape. Everybody has a neck. And they have some shoulders, okay? And I like to start by putting the ears. Remember, the ears are in the middle of the head on either side. Okay, so for your hair, you are not completely bald, so don't ever put hair like that. <laughs> okay, we all have more hair than that. Our hairline actually comes almost halfway, almost to where our eyebrows are, most of us, okay? So let's say you have short hair, so I'm just going to start here at the ear line where the ear is and I'm gonna just kind of go up. Maybe you kind of have some spiky kind of hair. So I 
looks okay, but you have more hair on your head. So I'm gonna come above the headline and connect it down. And then I'll erase that line. There you go. All right, let's do another boy hair. Let's say you have a mohawk or some hair up at the top. Remember, I'm going to start the ear line. Okay, so kind of the same as that and connect to the other ear. And then maybe add some hair on the sides and then maybe my hair goes up. <laughs> and then I'll erase Let's do it on this one. I start at the ear line. And let's say you're wearing a cap. Maybe you want to do a cap. So I'm actually, I'll do a little bit of hair there and a little bit of hair there. And then my ball cap will be here. Maybe you have some hair coming out. And then maybe some hair coming out over here. swirly lines for curls. Anytime you draw hair, just remember that the hairline usually kind of starts at the ear and comes down. So if I had eyebrows, they would be here. Hmm, maybe you have your hair up in a ponytail. So I will put some hair here and I come to my ear line and some hair here. And I will draw, don't ever leave yourself without any hair above that line. So I'll draw some line there. So that's a very short hairstyle. But let's make it into a ponytail. Do my ponytail holder. And then I'll draw my ponytail. Don't forget to erase. Maybe if you have two ponytails, you could put another one over there. Maybe you're wearing your hair down. Notice how I came to my ear line. Okay, and then you could do this for straight or wavy. Maybe you want the hair to come in front on one side. the braids I had to practice this for a minute but what you're gonna do after you do the top you're gonna come down here and you're gonna draw a zigzag line okay now on the point of the zigzag line you'll draw a line remember draw light until you get it right Okay, now I'm going to connect those lines with a little curve. And then it makes a braid 
wow, that's beautiful. So I'm gonna do it again on this side. So I start with a zig zag line. And then at the on each point, you're just gonna have that line come out, 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 out. And then you can connect with a curve. And it looks like the more you practice, the better you get. Okay? All right, let's do another hairstyle. Hmm, how about, how about some, maybe you have your whole head in braids. So remember, I would do the same thing with the head, the hairline, I would come here and I would just do like a curly. Now I'm gonna put a braid in front It's not, your ear and your headline are always, are not always showing, okay? I'll have this ear showing. And then I can just keep adding. Okay, so for the eyes, nose, and mouth, an easy way to draw an eye is to think of it like a lemon or an almond shape. So kind of a curve and then another curve. Okay, and then if you want, you can put an eyelid And then I'm gonna put a grape inside my lemon and a pea <laughs> inside my grape. Now, you can also add a highlight, which is like another circle, okay? And then this part, this part will always become black, that is your pupil. It's actually a window that allows light to come into your eye. And then I would color all of this part and I would leave this part white. Okay, now you can use your paint or your colored pencils or your markers or oil pastel to color this part in, just to kind of give you an idea and then maybe you want to add some eyelashes okay maybe you want your eyes to be looking to the side so we can have them looking up okay and remember you can do your highlight totally up to you. Maybe you are very, very happy. So happy that your eyes are squinted and closed. Maybe you are smiling so big 
could do like a little rainbow shape and then connect it. Rainbow shape. And then my circle will kind of get squished down in there. Don't forget your pupil. And you can also add your highlight if you want. Another little circle. Okay. Maybe you want to be sad or happy or surprised. So what? how we do that is with our eyebrows. So if you are feeling sad, your eyebrows are gonna go at an angle like that. And of course you can, um, you can add your little eyebrow, your hairs to it. You can see how that makes me look sad. Maybe you're angry. Feeling a little angry. Oh, that eye looks weird. <laughs> okay, maybe you're surprised. They're kind of coming up. Well, now he looks sleepy because I put that eyelid on him. <laughs> Maybe you're happy. Just normal. For our nose, there's many different ways to draw a nose, but an easy peasy way is just the letter L that's kind of curved. If you want to take it a little bit further, you can draw an L and maybe a nostril. You could also do your L that way and maybe make it more curved. Maybe you just want the bottom of your nose to be showing. Maybe you want a nose like this. It's kind of like a wiggly line. Okay. You could also add some lines to it. See? So you are the artist. You can decide how you want to draw your nose. All right, let's do some expressions, some mouth expressions. Maybe you're just feeling kind of happy. Maybe you're kind of like smug a little bit. <laughs> Maybe you want your mouth, your, your lips to be showing. like an M that's been stretched out at the top. Maybe you want some of your teeth to be showing. We'll do our top lip there. And then our bottom lip. Oh, you could leave it like that. Maybe you want your teeth. <laughs> you could put a little tongue, maybe some more teeth. Maybe you're surprised. Oh, maybe you have your brand new teeth showing and your little tongue. Maybe you're really happy. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's see, maybe you're sad. <laughs> hope not. I hope you're happy with your art. All right, so we have eyes. Let's see some eye 
brows. We have some noses and some mouths. Now we are gonna start looking at the face. Now, if I touch the top of my face, the first thing that I touch above my eyes is my eyebrows. Okay, so the way you draw your eyebrows can show your expression. So Miss Christina is usually pretty happy. So I'm gonna just make happy eyebrows. All right, and I'm usually pretty happy, so I'm gonna draw happy eyes. Kind of like a rainbow, and then another rainbow. <laughs> Looks like my eyes are closed there, but I'm gonna draw them open. So a rainbow, and then I'm gonna do just a little bit curved, not a lot, almost straight. And then my eyeball, this is called your iris, sits inside. So one line here. A circle. I'll do the same thing over here. Now this is my pupil and then I'm going to do a highlight. So my pupil is this little circle and then my highlight will be here. And I can color that in or I can put that black with a marker. Everybody has a black pupil. I have eyelashes, so I'll put some eyelashes on there. Everybody has eyelashes, but usually when we're doing like a portrait like this, if you are a girl or you identify as a girl, you might want to put some more eyelashes on you. Now, between my nose, oop, I gave away the answer. Between my eyes is my nose, and it's going to come halfway down my face. Now you can do just a simple L shape for your nose, or you can try a harder or different nose. Remember, you are the artist. And then I'm usually pretty happy. So I'm gonna draw a big, smiling mouth. Okay, and I'll give myself a lip and a bottom lip. And then you could put your teeth <laughs> or all of your teeth. Okay, remember you are the artist. Now, if your ears are showing, if you have short hair or even if your long hair is behind your ear, your ears are halfway on your face. So see where my pencil is? So I'm gonna just draw the letter C, but it gets skinnier at the bottom, and then the little details inside. And I can erase some of my hair there. Now if you're a boy or you are a girl with short hair, remember you would see both of your ears. And the top of the eye is in line with the top of your ears. All right, there you have it. Once you're done drawing everything, you need to outline it with a permanent marker. Then you can take an eraser and go over and erase all those extra pencil lines. Don't forget to add a nice pattern for your background. Remember, take your time, try your best, and have fun. I can't wait to see what you draw.